It's time to stop suck at this part of Slavish Fantasy. As you can see, I currently suck at this part. So stick around to see if I can get any better. So what I like to do first here is sort of marinate in every single note and just let everything sink in, find how all the intervals come together the easiest with the best tone. So I like to learn it by ear and sort of be able to sing everything first. Some might just call this slow practice, but it's not, okay? Yeah, okay, it's sort of just slow practice, but it's not just practicing slow. That's not your only goal. Your goal is to really listen and make sure that the horn in your hands is vibrating the entire time. And if you do this with everything that you play really slow and you spend this time, you might be like shocked at how much better your body and like brain learns the material. You'll come back to it the next day and just be infinitely better at it because you took the time really diligently to calibrate it for yourself. And that's how that's how people get to that next level of it just sounds like they're not even making mistakes. It's because they're using the least amount of effort to do everything because they spent the time slowly enough to find where that is. And the number one thing to be focused on here is your sound. If you're noticing as you're playing slowly that your sound is not maintaining or it's just not good, that's what you need to fix. And one of the tools that I use sometimes is you'll hear me using a lot of vibrato here and there, and that's to find where my sound opens up the easiest. And I kind of just use it a lot throughout my practice to sort of find where I'm sounding my best and kind of just try and stay there. So what I'm going to do now is see if I've retained that information at a high enough level to do it quickly, and I haven't quite yet. And yes, the end goal is to be able to double tongue some of this as well, but I'm just going to leave out that factor for now and find where playing it quickly and slurred, find where I'm not quite calibrated yet. And I hate using that word over and over, but I have found that sort of this sort of practice, it really just does calibrate you to when you have to play it like correctly and as written, you can just suddenly do it because you spent, you spent the time just to make it ingrained in your body. And so the last step that I'm gonna do here before I try and just play it as written is see if I can sing it with my fingers. And this has always helped me for double tonguing passages and just even other passages. If you can sing it with your fingers in time, which I'm kind of not quite there yet, um, and you've done like the slow stuff, it just locks in. So let's see if I can play it. Lots of room for improvement. 